Hello everyone and welcome to Cleveland Municipal Stadium for week three of the 1957 NFL replay and today the visiting Philadelphia Eagles will play the Cleveland Browns. We're currently in the interval between the third and the fourth quarter and the crowd of 53,493 are in the ground today so while we are waiting for the teams to return let's go through what happened in week two baltimore colts beat the chicago bears the philadelphia eagles beat the new york giants the cleveland browns beat pittsburgh steelers san francisco 49ers beat the los angeles rams the detroit lions beat the green bay packers and washington redskins beat the chicago cardinals so that has left us in the East with the Browns and the Eagles unbeaten. Apologies for the percentages, they're wrong, but they have been sorted out and they'll be okay for round three. And then following those two, we have the Cardinals, the Steelers and the Redskins on one and one. And the Giants have still to register a win or a tie. And they're at the bottom of the Eastern Division. In the Western Division... The only other unbeaten team, the Baltimore Colts, 2-0. Then we have the Packers, the Lions and the 49ers on 1-1. One and, one, and the Bears and the Rams still without a victory. So let's go down to the field in preparation. For the fourth quarter and... Eagles fans, hold on to your hats because they are getting trounced here in Cleveland. They currently trail by 41 points to zero. Quarterback was Al Duro to start the game and he has been replaced for this fourth quarter by Bobby Thompson. Bobby Thomason, sorry. And Tommy O'Connell is the quarterback for the Browns. So the scoring so far in this game, if in the first quarter, 13-30, a 37-yard run by Lou Carpenter. Give as a 7-0 lead. Lou Groves has scored the extra point on 15 seconds remaining. Lou Groves had a 13-yard field goal blocked. And recovered by the Eagles in the second period. 10-15, a two-yard run by Jim Brown. And an extra point made it 14 to nothing. 50 seconds, a one-yard pass from Tommy O'Connell to Lou Carpenter. Made it 21-0. And as time expired, they, they got the ball back and the 29-yard field goal by Lou Groza made the halftime score 24 to 0. In the third period, 9 minutes, 29 yards field goal again by Lou Groza made it 27 nil. 130 remaining in the third, a seven-yard run by Jim Brown made it 34 to, to nil. And with 20 seconds remaining, a one-yard run by Lou Carpenter made it 41 to nil injuries so far philadelphia tom brookshire on the defense is out and peter ratzlaff on the offense the flanker is out and for cleveland peter brewster the offensive end is out so we're gonna what i'm gonna do in this the both used to time out so far uh what i'm gonna do in this is use the special situations if well actually what i'll start doing is is allowing the um philadelphia eagles not to roll the dice because they would pass more and we'll see how this goes on so we've got second and nine at the 30 for philadelphia and bobby thomason comes out for his first snap it's going to be an inside run against a blitz so immediately no respite from the Cleveland defense and it's going to be an inside run 
to Clarence Peaks. Is EB a zero run? He is. So he gets three yards in his tackle to bring up third down and six. So short pass against a safe defense. So Thomason comes out to try his first pass of the game. And he's going to be looking for Dick Bielski. Is A a two pass? Well, A is a two pass. And so we're going to go to the Y chart. And these guys are not good on the Ys. They're all the quarterbacks for Philadelphia are 11. So 43 on a short pass is going to be intercepted. 14 yards down the field. So at the Philadelphia's 47-yard line. And this is going to be intercepted by... Warren Law. L-A-H-R. And he's going to return this. For three yards down to the 44 yard line of the Eagles. So, no respite from the Eagles. Let's see what's going to happen as Tommy O'Connell comes out. And it's going to be a short pass against a run defense. Both teams are plus four. So, it's been a lot of run, but we've had some passing. So Tommy O'Connell takes the snap and looks for Preston Carpenter. And that's going to be an unusual result. So a rare play. Let's see what the rare play is. Confused by defensive alignment, the quarterback calls a timeout. So they've wasted a... They've taken the second time out. And so first and 10 still at the 44 of the Eagles inside run against a run defense. O'Connell takes the snap, drops back, hands the ball off to Chet Henelak. Is CE a two run? He is not. So he's forced out of bounds after losing a yard. Second down and 11. Outside run against a safe defense. O'Connell drops back, hands the ball off to Jim Brown. Is I or J a two run? No. So Brown bulls ahead for five yard gain, bringing up third down and six at the 40 yard line of the Eagles. And we play the cards as it is on third down. So it's a medium pass against a run defense. O'Connell drops back and he's looking for Lou Carpenter. Is GA or FB a zero pass? Well, GA is. Holding call nullified by a gain of 10 yard.
So defensive holding, but the 10 yard gain will be given and taken by the Eagles. It's going to be first down. Sorry, by the Browns. First down for the Browns at the Eagles 30. Outside run against a run defense. Keeping the clock moving. And eating up the ground. O'Connell hands the ball off to Lou Carpenter. They are the home team, and so he's going to go to the XR column. Is the quarterback a zero run? He's not. So another 15 yards to bring them down to the 15-yard line of the Eagles. First down and 10, and this has been the pattern of the game throughout the first three quarters. The Cleveland Browns have just bowled ahead, and the Philadelphia Eagles have not been able to stop them. So medium outside run, because it's a plus four against a safe defense. O'Connell hands the ball off to Chut Chet Henelook. Is K a zero run? He is not. Is EA a two run? He is not. So he gets hit back behind the line of scrummage and loses a yard. Second down and 11 to the Browns. Inside run against a blitz. So O'Connell drops back, hands the ball off to Jim Brown. Is TB a zero run? He is not. So Brown will go to the XR column. Is J a two run? He is not. So Brown makes a seven yard gain. And he brings up sec third down and three at the eight-yard line of the Eagles. Third and three, screen pass against a run defense. O'Connell takes the snap, looks for a quick offload to Preston Carpenter. And it's going to be an unusual result. Gets 11 yards, which will be a touchdown, but there is a flag on the play. Offsides, defense, penalty is declined, touchdown. So Preston Carpenter gets into the end zone with a eight yard run and Lou Groza. Adds the extra point to pile more misery on the Philadelphia Eagles. And now with 11.15 remaining, the Browns lead by 48 points to nil. So Lou Groza will kick off and he'll kick it through the end zone for a touchback. And out comes Bobby Thomason just trying to keep this game moving and get them through to the end of the game. Outside run against a run defense. Been an abject performance here by the Eagles. They were unbeaten, but they've come to what many believe is going to be the Champions this year, the Cleveland Browns. Thomason takes the snap, drops back, hands the ball off to Bobby Walston. Is EA a two run? He is not. And he gets back to the line of scrimmage and he's knocked out of bounds for no gain. Second down and 10. It's going to be a screen pass against the Blitz. I'm not rolling for Philadelphia. They will just play the plays because they need to do more passing. So screen pass against the Blitz. 
Bobby Tonneson takes a snap under pressure looking for Ken Keller is H a two pass he is not so he gets six yards And the first down, uh, and the second down, no, a third down, sorry. Six yards and a third down, so we're now third and four. And they're going to go short pass against the pass defense, going to stay in the air. Thomason drops back, looks for Clarence Peaks, and it's an unusual result. He gets seven yards and is hit hard. Did he complete the pass? Waiting for the officials to signal. Is the designated runner a zero pass? And so... He's not a zero pass. And so it's complete for seven yards and a first down. To the Eagles, 10 minutes remaining in this game. Philadelphia first and 10 at their own 33 trail by 48 points. Inside run against a run. Thomason drops back, hands the ball off to Billy Barnes. And they're not the offense. So Barnes gets hit behind the line of scrimmage and he loses a yard, second and 11. To the Eagles, inside run against a blitz. Thomason sticking with the run game. Hands the ball off to Clarence Peaks. Is Jay a two run? He is. And again, Peaks is hit behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of one yard. So third down and 12 now at their own 32. Medium pass against the pass defense. So Thomason has to go to the air. Looking for Tommy McDonald. Is TB a two pass? He is not. So the pass blocking breaks down and it's incomplete, but there is a flag on the play. Holding defense. Five yard penalty, automatic, first down. So a lucky break there for the Eagles. They get a first down on a holding penalty by the defense. Keeps the drive alive. First and 10 at their own 37-yard line. Inside run against a safe. Thomason takes the snap, hands the ball off to Clarence Peaks. And Clarence Peaks on an inside run is a B. And so he will get one yard. Bringing up second and nine. So Philadelphia will go outside against a run. <clears throat> I think they already know this game is over. They're just trying to get through it. Thomason drops back, hands the ball off. To Neil Gordon is F a two run? He is not. Is he rated zero? He is not. So Warden gets three yards, brings up third down and six at the Eagles 41 yard line. Third and six. It's going to be an inside run against a blitz. Thomason hands the ball off 
to Billy Barnes. They're not at home. And Barnes is buried for a loss of one. And so with fourth down at their own 40-yard line, the punter, Jerry Norton, will come out. So he takes the snap and the ball is up. It's going to be a 43-yard punt without a return, but there is a flag on the play. Offsides, defence, penalty is declined. First down, the Browns. So Cleveland take over. Seven minutes remaining, first and ten at their own 17-yard line. And it's going to be, is it going to be a screen pass? No, they're going to change it to an inside run against a run defence. Tommy O'Connell takes the snap, hands the ball off to Jim Brown. Is F a zero run? He's not. So there's no game, but there is a flag on the play. And it's going to be a dead ball foul, false start. So no time off the clock, and they'll move to first and 15. Medium pass against a safe defense, and that's how it's going to stay. <coughs> Tommy O'Connell takes the snap, looks to pass to Ray Renfro. Is G a zero pass? He's not. Is SB a two pass? He's not. So it's going to be incomplete. Bringing up second down and 15. Screen pass against a run defense, and it's going to stay that way. O'Connell drops back, looking for a quick outlet to Jim Brown. SB or TB a zero pass, yes. And the quarterback is sacked. For a loss of 10 yards back to his own two-yard line. And the sack is by Marion Campbell. So it comes up third down and a long, long way. Third and 25. So it's going to be a long pass attempt against a blitz. O'Connell drops back, looks for Lou Carpenter. Is G or C a two pass? No and no. So it goes to the XL column. Carpenter 54 is FB a zero pass. He's not. So he gets 33 yards and he's going to get a first down out to the 35-yard line. So from what looked like an impossible position, O'Connell to Lou Carpenter, 33 yards, first down to the Browns with 5.45 remaining. Inside run against a run defence. O'Donnell O'Connell drops back and hands the ball off to Jim Brown. Is F a zero run? He is not. So there's no gain, but there is a flag on the play. Clipping on the offense. 
15 yard penalty replay first down so a big 15 yard penalty but they had one of those in the last set of downs and managed to overcome in it so first and 25 short pass against a run defense and that's going to stay like that <clears throat> O'Connell drops back and looks for Preston Carpenter. Is EA a zero pass? He is not. So it's wide open and Preston Carpenter will gain 15 yards back to the original line of scrimmage. Five minutes remaining. Second down and 10. To the Browns at their own 35. Outside run against a run defence. O'Connell drops back and hands the ball off to Jim Brown, who is an A on the outside. So he'll get five yards to bring up third and five at their own 40-yard line. So a short pass against a run defence. O'Connell drops back, looks for Preston Carpenter again. Is E a two pass? He is not. So Carpenter goes to the excess column. Is C E a zero pass? He is not. He gets the seven yards that will give them a first down. Clock continues to run. Four minutes remaining. First and ten at their own 47 yard line. A medium pass against a run defense. Is that going to stay the same? It is. They're going to leave the passing going. And it's the Browns that are doing all the, the passing at the moment. Tommy O'Connell getting some passing practice in here. Looking for Preston Carpenter again. 43 is EB a two pass. He is. So he gets a good adjustment and... Makes a 19-yard gain all the way down to the 34-yard line of the Philadelphia Eagles. And it's really men against boys in, at this point in the game. Inside run against a run defense. O'Connell under centre takes the snap, hands the ball off to Jim Brown. Is E a two run? He is not. Is he rated zero? He is not. So Jim Brown pulls ahead for three yards. Three minutes remaining in the game. Second down and seven. And this could be my first ever shutout game. I've never had both team, uh, one team not score. Outside run against a blitz. O'Connell drops back, hands the ball off to Jim Brown. And he's going to get seven yards. And a first down. Is it a first down? It is. He's got enough yards for a first down. They came out and measured. Two minutes, 30 remaining now. First down and 10 at the 24-yard line of the Eagles. Inside run against a safe defense. The Eagles have had no answer to this onslaught from the Browns. And... O'Connell takes the snap, hands the ball off to Jim Brown once again. And Brown will get three yards to the 21-yard line. And the two-minute warning is signalled. So second down and seven. We're at the two-minute warning. 
and it's going to be a short pass against a save unless no it's going to change it's going to change to an inside run against a safe so o'connell hands the ball off to chet hanalak is he a two run he is not and Hanalak gets nine yards and there is an injury. It's going to be a first down. Let's just check the injury. If there is one or not. If there is, it will be to... Ray Renfro. And he will be out for the rest of the game. So third down. One minute ten remaining. Sorry, first and ten. And short pass against a safe defense, but it's going to change to an inside run against a safe defense. Connell hands the ball off to Chet Hanaluk. Is EB a zero run? He isn't. Uh, no, he isn't. So he gets a three-yard gain. 45 seconds remaining. Second down and seven at the nine-yard line of the Eagles. Short pass against a run. And it's going to stay that way. O'Connell takes a snap, drops back, looks for Lou Carpenter. Is D a two pass? He is not. So is Lou Carpenter questionable? No, he isn't. So he's going to gain the nine yards and go in for a touchdown. And more misery piled on to the Philadelphia Eagles. The field goal is good. The extra point is good. So the Eagles now trail by 55 to nothing. And we have got 35 seconds remaining. So kicking off is Lou Groza. And it's just going to be a 47-yard kick down to the 12-yard line of the Eagles. And it's going to be returned by Ken Keller. And Keller will return it. 15 yards out to the 37 yard line and 25 seconds remaining they're going to go long against a pass just try and get something on the on the scoreboard so Thomason drops back and he's looking for Bill Stribling Going to be an unusual result. It's going to be a rare play. Quarterback pressure dumps off, pass off. To the Guard, Abe Gerbrun, and he's penalised for an illegal, ineligible downfield. Illegal receiver downfield penalty, so it's going to bring us back. 15 seconds remaining. They're going to go long against a pass, pass defence again. 
They won't even get into a position for a Hail Mary if they can't get a big gain here. So drops back. Looks for Bill Stribbling again. Is TA a two pass? He is not. So it's incomplete, and this is going to bring up second down. It's the last play of the game. Again, long against the pass. It's got to be. So Bobby Thomason, his last chance, and he's looking again for Bill Stribbling. Is C a zero pass? He is not. He's rated one, so the ball is incomplete, and time runs out, and the game is over. And after all that, Philadelphia Eagles come into Cleveland unbeaten and they leave with their tails firmly between their legs having been slaughtered by the Cleveland Browns by a score of 55 to nil. So not be much of a contest but I hope you enjoyed the game and week four will be the Los Angeles Rams who currently are 0-2 against the Chicago Bears who are currently 0-2 but they do have their third round game to play so we'll preview that before the start of the fourth quarter and see if they're still unbeat still without a win or if one team has managed to win but i hope you've enjoyed this do leave a comment let me know how you think the game's going and until next time good night